Welcome back, everybody. We are in the garden again. And I'm not sure what topic to go on to about today. I had a few racking around in my head, but we'll see where it goes. It's been a few days since I've watered, but it rained. But I will admit that I've been a little bit lazy about it. It's kind of cold this morning. Whew. Let's take a look at our growth. That looks good. Look, that's taller than the pot now. That was our um, way of gauging, right? That's so cool. If it grew. That looks like it's doing well. That's... Everything's doing well, and let's look at all this new green growth. And if you look right back there, look at all that new grass coming in. That's gorgeous and exactly what I was hoping for. So, I guess right now I'm thinking about the state of the world. I know, profound, right? Thinking about the state of the world right now. But more specifically, the deficiency in which it's being addressed. I know that's profound too, but <laughs> in one particular area. I think one fact that I'm not going to say has been totally neglected because I have seen it mentioned. Ooh, remember how in the beginning of this, these this plant was dead and we, these were pretty much dead and we hoped there would be life in this pot again look at that sprout right there that's 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 fantastic anyway i'm not going to say this topic has been totally abandoned because i have seen it touched on just not enough our first preface by saying that humans are indeed creatures of habit. Go read about how to acquire a habit and you'll read all about how many days it acquires, it takes to ingrain something into your routine properly, and how everything gets easier once it's properly part of your routine, you kind of do it on autopilot, that kind of thing. Well, COVID world routines have been built into all of us virtually as autopilot, as habit. And is it generally accepted that habits are hard to stop? Well, yeah, my point is returning to normal whatever that's going to look like is going to be difficult just like locking down was difficult because it's going to be a dramatic change. If you were in a big crowd of unmasked people right now, you'd probably be like, what's going on? I read a story a long time ago. This was like last year. A dude was actually totally isolated because he was like some hippie that wanted to go live out in the woods or something. Well, I know he wanted to go live out in the woods, so I'm just going to call him some hippie. Like, isolated from society, man. Or whatever. 
And he came back to society to, like, lock down Corona World. And the dude went nuts. Like, literally, like, lost his mind proper. Because the shock of how different everything was. He was like, this is like a horror movie. It's like a virus movie. But... We've slowly adjusted. And we'll slowly adjust back. But to think that there's going to be any point that some magic switch is flipped. Where everything goes back to normal. Even if the virus were to just magically disappear. The whole, that whole situation were to disappear. I think would be a little silly. just because of how people are. And it seems like bees need extra water. These plants, they seem very thirsty. Especially because while bees were like dead and we're reviving them. So, I have a pretty varied content style and content type. I've got gardening, I've got Linux and programming stuff, I've got language learning stuff, I've got movie streaming stuff, I've got theology stuff, I've got news stuff. I, I, I'm thinking about adding more stuff. I'm going to be adding more stuff. And since this is gardening with Ryan, I'm going to talk about whatever I want. I'm going to talk about why Windows 10 is such a freaking trash operating system. Actually, you know what? Windows 10 is awful enough that it deserves a specific roast. Why it's not an improvement, and why it's just another repackaged Windows NT BS. Okay. They optimized RAM usage a little. And, my life became easier working with computers with Windows 10. I will grant them that because of drivers. If you don't know what I'm talking about, for most of Windows history, if you reinstalled Windows, you usually were stuck in the lowest resolution and you didn't have an internet connection and you had to have another computer with an internet connection and you had to figure out which drivers to install to that device and in what order. With Windows 10, you don't really have to deal with that. Starting with Windows 8, but Microsoft's trying to forget about Windows 8, and I'll let them. I like how there's like a tree thing growing in that pot. See that? That's cool. But, anyway, the reason... Windows 10 is garbage. Well, they added a lot of spyware that just data mines on what you do. There's a unique... Look how green that area is. Look at that. That is... I am so happy with that. Like, we are, we are getting it accomplished, folks. Anyway... Back on topic. These days, since Windows 8, you install the operating system and it's pretty much done. It'll grab all the drivers you need. It'll grab a graphics driver. It'll grab an audio driver. It'll grab maybe not all the drivers you want for like the best performance in your 
Pub, Fortnite, whatever. But it'll work, right? Like when when you're when you're setting up a computer for somebody, you can just kind of install the OS and say, "All right, here's your computer." Instead of just hours of sitting there screwing with drivers on like manufacturer websites or like you know what it usually was? Usually some champ put together some guide of what drivers you need, how to install them, and where to get them, and everyone just followed it like the same dude's guide and like staff would usually redirect you there. You might be saying, oh, well, it's complicated to have drivers. Okay, well, tell me why on all of this hardware, I've been able to put in a live USB of Linux that a grandma could use. Very simple operating system, just like Ubuntu with, like, shortcuts to all the popular websites pinned or something. And out of the box, every time... I've never had an issue just plugging in the internet. I actually have yet to run into a Linux Wi-Fi issue. And I know that that sounds wild, but I've had a lot of weird Wi-Fi cards and stuff. But for some reason, just by happenstance, every Wi-Fi card I get works even on like the hipster kernels you know what i'm talking about like the stallman style kernels if you're a linux person so if you're not a linux dweeb um the short version of what i'm saying is other operating systems don't have this problem because it does it it it, it, it you can package in the full kernel less than a gigabyte most drivers you need for most modern hardware cuz just go just go look at the linux kernel if you don't believe me or like kernels of other oss Go look at freaking Darwin or FreeBSD or any other BSD or Minix or... Uh, I, I don't care. Anyway, Windows 10 is also a garbage operating system because it isn't really an operating system and it's pretty obvious that it's a sales platform. And when I install a freaking OS and hit the uh, Windows button, and it's like, Cortana, show me coronavirus updates. I'm like, not you can hear sirens, most likely related to what I just said. Um, But anyway, it's great that I can look up, that I can look that up on my computer, but that's not part of the OS. And unless you go through a bunch of settings to turn off toggles, which I don't even know that turning off the toggles does anything. Like, I've, I've, I've bothered less and less with it because I'm like, do I really think that just saying, like, yeah, I don't track me Microsoft is actually going to do anything? Because I can't really see, like, the details of the packets that's going to, that are going to them. That's how they set it up. So... Anyway, it spies on you, it advertises crap to you, it does crap in the background that, like, slows you down when you don't like it. It's just... Every... And you know what I find just repulsive? Like, absolutely repulsive? The amount of bloatware that virtually every manufacturer... Every, every manufacturer includes 
with a default install of Windows 10. First of all, you should never, ever, 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 ever install any antivirus program post Windows XP. Well, okay, if you're using Windows 7, install Windows Defender from the Microsoft website because it's good enough and you aren't going to get viruses and Windows 8 and 10 have antivirus built in and the rest is just bloat. Antivirus has always been bloat for the most part. Antivirus, what's that even supposed to mean? Antivirus software. Of course, it's security software, but like that's like a really like schemey advertising term. I feel like, and I feel like the software has just always been so crap. There's always been better stuff available for free than the uh, like atrocious paid garbage. And I know there are probably boomers that are like, "Oh, back in my day, you needed to pay for Norton or you get ransomware." No, you just suck at using computers. Sorry, but... <laughs> so... I have... what might be a hot take on something. I really don't know. But I think I know how we can help old people with technology. You know how they... do? We Most of us probably have like old people in our lives that we've helped with technology and they act totally helpless and they just act scared and confused. I can't do this. Well, ask yourself. Is it that complicated? No. Can they do things that are very similar but way more complicated, like as assemble engines and stuff? <laughs> Probably, a lot of the time. Is it easier? Okay, you know what? The easiest way for me to tell you about this is to tell you a story. When I was in preschool, my dad told me this story that in preschool, my preschool teacher talked to my parents and was like, your kid is stupid. He can't write his name yet. And, there was, and my, my parents were like, what are you talking about? He writes all the time. And then when I was asked about why I wouldn't write in school, apparently I said, I, I just didn't want to have to do it. If, if, if thought I couldn't do it, then I didn't have to do anything. I will grant that it takes a little bit of time and investment to get used to computer stuff, and that it is easier to have someone else set up everything for you while you act completely ignorant. And I'm not saying don't help. You know what? Yeah, I am. You know what? <laughs> they have... A... If you're a human... And you pick up a modern smartphone. You'll get there. Right? Like, you you kind of have to be a geek to screw it up. To, to get to, like, the advanced stuff. Just tap on the default apps and you'll really figure it out. Like, just... just just think of the things a human hand could do to a phone and watch what happens and you'll get there in a pretty reasonable amount of time. I don't think I'm saying anything that radical. I think I think I think we're, I think we're being enablers by just being like all right, boomer. I, w I will. You know what? I think we should say, like, I know you can do it, and you'll benefit from trying to figure it out. Help them along the way, but give that boomer some confidence. Don't 
don't do it in a bully way. If they need help, like, show them, of course. I'm not trying to say, like, be a jerk here, but... How did I learn to ice skate? Well, I ran on the ice in ice skates, and I wiped out, and it pissed me off, so I ran on the ice again. And I wiped out, and it pissed me off, so I ran on the ice again until the end of the day when I was... Like, dudes were the things for ice skaters. I probably, like, if they were straight, I may probably made them question their sexuality. I was so good at ice skating by the end of that day. So, how did I learn snowboarding? Rolling down a mountain lots of times. You learn by just trying and failing, and boomers get scared, but, like, just tell them you're not going to hurt it. Like they, like, they freak out when you change the freaking TV and put... Or that's a that's a that's a joke from my generation that a bunch of zoomers these days won't get because yeah, well, but yeah they, they freak out like, oh you broke the TV oh no honey we're gonna have to get new cable <laughs> no I just I just changed the input it's fine no you broke it put it back to the way it was. Like, I think we just give them one time where we just say very clearly, I'm not going to repeat just because I'm not saying just like, you know what, everybody take up arms and all of your old people that you know that ask for technological help, it's time to like, it's time to like have an issue with them. I'm not saying that at all. Or maybe I am. You know what? That's what I am saying. It's time we 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 got to stop just letting boomers bully us. Because did they teach us how to use it, or did we figure it out as children on our own? Read the manual. Even if you don't know how to look things up, you know how to do that. There's a quick start guide included with virtually all technology. So, my main point... Look, on, under the bench there's that, like, renegade succulent growing. I think it might be like a cutting knife like that guy. See him right there? Yeah. I just... I just want this whole area to be green. And it looks like we're accomplishing that. And there's, there's grass. Look, even that grass transplant from early in the series is doing well. Look, there's just grass everywhere. And look like a tree sprout thing there. So I'm not on the I hate proprietary software crowd. I don't care. Like I have no ethical issue with it. I I end up using mostly free and open source software because that's what's good, but and I like when stuff is free and open source. It's cool, and I appreciate that. But I'm not a software communist. And I would never license anything under the GPL. I think the real free and open source is public domain. Like when I do a game dev course, which will be soon. As soon as someone takes me up on it, if you're listening to this and you want to learn programming or game dev and you'll actually show up to lessons, 
I don't care how much you suck. Just, 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 just willingness is all I want. Leave a comment, and if I get one student, we'll get this started. But that'll take me into my next little rant. People bitch about how hard things are, but they never actually attempt them. At all. I've been offering on my Discord and other social media like Snapchat. Not on here as much because ironically it's harder to get a video audience here. But I'm trying to change that. So all of you here watching right now, you're awesome. Thanks so much. But, um, oh, for those of you that don't know, there's a thing called React OS. It is a totally free and open source. Well, okay, I'll finish my rant about software communism. I don't have an opinion either way. I don't. I don't know. I don't really know the details behind the debate. I just know that the GPL is an annoying license, and it's like I feel like it's like the one of the more I don't, one of the most restrictive software licenses. It's basically a proprietary license because it ends up saying you have to give a meme a credit. Alright, okay, not even necessarily. I, 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 it, it's saying you gotta... I don't really want to get into that, because that's a debate that I'm not qualified on, and I have my opinions, but they're not that strong. Not certain, not in a strong certain internet flame more. React OS free and open source OS that is attempted to be a clone that is fully compatible with Windows. Windows clone basically wine the OS. Except it's been in beta for like 45 years and ironically their best performance right now is, by, is because they ported wine to running on it and they're using wine to run applications instead of not using a compatibility layer and it's kind of a meme but like the fact that it runs at all is amazing and the project is super cool and I think it's meant to be kind of like a novelty project I don't think it's meant for like serious server deployment use or anything like it's just a cool project let's hit these guys of course I don't think these guys need all that much because we never put too much water in there. Mm -hmm. They seem to stay healthy. Oh, look. Remember how I was irritated how that was like all, no grass there? Look how much grow. because the sprinklers get the lawn. I just feel like it's kind of dry, but I don't care about the lawn. This is the area I care about. And it might seem like I'm overwatering, but look it up. New grass needs an incredible amount of water. Anyway, I'm so irritated with GNOME 3 right now because it keeps displaying this error message about my touchpad on my Surface Pro 2. I'll probably upload a video about it. 
and there's no issues. It's just a dot. It's just like a warning message thing. And okay, test drivers are built into the kernel, but I don't know how well. Like different desktop environments will will play nice with the pen and stuff. Maybe open box will play nice. We'll see. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, but you're just hanging out, that's fine. Like... You don't need to know to learn from it. You're learning whether you know it or not. You're hearing terms that... Someday... You might hear about again. And recall something I said. And it might be useful to you. Um, I'll talk about some reflections having learned another language. Having learned Spanish. Hmm. Enough to carry on a lot of conversations. I don't know. I'll probably be uploading my English lessons that I do in Spanish soon so that you can gauge where I'm at. But, um, I think the best way to learn things in general is just do it. If you're wondering about making the hop to Linux and you're trying to pick a distribution or if you're a distro hopper, well, guess what? If you're a distro hopper, it almost certainly means, and if you understand the vocabulary of what I'm about to say, you're exempt from this, it's probably just the desktop environment and the suite of applications that comes with it that you're hopping, not the distribution, but that can be easily exchanged on any distribution so um if you don't know what that means it means the, the things you're hopping for are not distribution specific things and if you just stick on one you'll learn how to make it look and act like however you want the real answer i forget who said this? I think it might have been uh, Luke Smith. He's another YouTuber, a Linux YouTuber that I watch sometimes. You should totally check him out. Uh, he said, just pick one and use it until there's some reason that it doesn't work for the task at hand and you need something else. I still use Windows on a lot of my devices, but that's mainly because Discord audio stream, because I stream a lot of movies, will only capture on desktop from the, the freaking Windows driver. That irritates me. Like... really irritates me. So right now we're really just kind of drenching everything. Let's try to like, hit areas where grass is growing really well with extra water. Let's see if the sun today can push this all along. 
I see flowers, so these plants, we've got reproducing plants now. And we've got potted stuff. From here, nature will handle a lot of it, but we'll still try and throw in the exciting stuff. Maybe add pots of new stuff, I don't know. Check out this tree. Pretty cool, right? By the way, if you're it, it, everyone watching this, if you're not in my Discord server and you like offensive memes and horror movie watch parties, get in my freaking Discord server. I uploaded a video, it's the one right before this one, with a link to it. We got to level two. We there's all sorts of cool stuff. Come check it out. That's where the uh, game dev lessons will be happening and such. Yeah, we're really just trying to um, kind of, if, you, if you're asking, like, turn from that area into a swamp, the answer would be a firm yes. I'm going to say affirmative on that because new grass, not planted by grass seeds. going to need a lot of water if the internet is correct, which is not a very powerful statement, I guess, if the internet is correct, but let's make sure we put these suckers in. This tree needs water. I have to, I have this new grass and put this tree too. I like in all this growth and how it's coming up neat to this line. I kind of want to make it come up neat to this line and over here. We can work on over there next, but like, let's see if it works if we just really keep watering this area. If it'll become green. Okay, that is pretty dry. See how the water's just like pour, like running down it's because it's not soaking in, it's all dry. We flood it. Okay. Then if we come back and that's magically all green, and this area looks like it just needs. 
a little attention. That grass is not doing too hot, to be honest. We're gonna actually focus a little more on the grass. Just a little bit. Like that big dead patch over there. That's not my problem. That's not my area. I just want it to look nice. This area has been designated to me. I like how that old planet clump is just still alive. And it's even sprouting new leaves and stuff. I like it. There's like a new plant of that same kind right next to it. This is exactly what I was hoping for. That sounded kind of sarcastic, but there was no sarcasm intended. It's nice to be outside. A lot of you probably need to go outside. I know I need to go outside more than I do. Anyway. I had a good meal before work yesterday and it made my day go so much more smoothly, so make sure you eat are eating enough. Yes, we are totally just drowning this area. That's the point, though. Because I'm telling all you homies, this whole area is going to be green and gorgeous within, like, days.
bunch of grass growing back there behind the uh well we've been way zoomed out for quite a while now haven't we it's okay look at all that grass growing back there too beautiful Zoom out more. Yeah, you can see more if I zoom out more. So that's fine. Anyway, a bit more of a quieter episode than usual, but that's not a bad thing.
growth right there. I like that a lot. Let's make sure this area that has that just keeps doing well. It gets love, you know. I think those clumps were put there by me too, the ones I'm hitting right now. I might be misremembering, but I think so. Green. I'm pretty convinced that now that we have all this stuff planted and with how much I'm watering now with the sun coming up when I come back to new, do a new episode it's just going to be gorgeous back here I'm pretty darn convinced Tommy's
Alright, we're done now. Much quieter garden or a garden maintenance episode, but that's okay. I hope all you wonderful people enjoyed. I can flip the camera around. Thank you for joining me in the garden this morning. Have a great day.